Nottingham Gay Tube Station on the district, Circle and Central Line in the heart of West London. We're on the hunt for the famous blue door from the film Notting Hill, which is of course where Hugh Grant's character, William Thacker, lives in the film. When you come through the barriers of the Notting Hill Gate Tube Station, follow the sign for Portobello Road. Portobello Road is one of the most famous streets in Notting Hill, and in fact, in all of London. When you come out of the tube station, you have to turn right at Pembridge Road. You'll see that there's a Foxton's and also a WH Smith. As you walk up Pembridge Road, you'll pass famous shops like Arancina and, of course, Be Famous, where you can buy all your celebrity merchandise. About 200 metres along Pembridge Road, you're going to turn left to the most famous street in Notting Hill, Portobello Road. You'll know you're in the right place because you'll see the Sun and Splendour Pub, the oldest pub in Notting Hill. And this is where the Celebrity Planet starts the celebrity tour of Notting Hill on Wednesdays, Fridays and Saturdays at 2.30. Once you pass the Sun and Splendour, you just want to keep walking down Portobello Road past all the beautiful pastel houses that'll be on your right and into the area where you'll find all the antique markets. You can see behind me the heart of Portobello Road. All you have to do now is continue straight ahead and we're going to get to the location where the travel bookshop, not the real one, but the film location, was made in 1999. When you come to the corner of Portobello Road and Blenheim Crescent, turn left and you'll get to the real travel bookshop. I'm now standing in front of the real travel bookshop that was the inspiration for the travel book company in the film Notting Hill. I'm now back on Portobello Road and I've continued one block north of Blenheim Crescent. As you can see, I'm standing in front of Starbucks, which is where you turn left to find the Blue Door. So finally, I'm standing in front of the blue door. Now, I know the first thing that you're thinking is, it's not blue, it's black. And you're right, but more on that later. So in 1999, when the film was made here in Notting Hill, this was a blue door, and this is where Richard Curtis, the writer of the movie, used to live. And that's right, this is his former house. Now, when they were trying to find a location for William Thacker to live, Curtis thought, what better place than my own front door? So they used this for the film location. Now rumour has it that before Richard Curtis lived here, this was actually a brothel, or as it's been described to me, the biggest crack and whorehouse in all of Notting Hill. Now whether this is true or not, I don't know. But anyway, when the film came out in 1999, this became an instant tourist attraction, and people from all over the world flocked here just to have their photo in front of the blue door. Now Curtis, being a savvy businessman, saw an opportunity. So he sold this house for 1.8 million pounds. Now the new owners were so sick of tourists standing here, they actually auctioned the original blue door for charity and it raised 8,000 pounds. They put on a new door, painted it black, painted the pillars white, and even took the number off the door. As you can see, it's only written in small white pen, 280 Westbourne Park Road. 